Halloween week on Strictly Come Dancing and this week we are going to be reacting to six, yes that's right, six dances because there was a couple that uh, I'd heard from others from the grapevine I should watch. So we're gonna go first in with the worst on the leaderboard who, no, with the second, <laughs> I always got this wrong. But the second worst on the leaderboard, who is Ellie Simmons. So she's dancing with Nikita and they're doing a foxtrot to Scooby-Doo. Where are you? This is my attempt at Halloween costume, by the way. <laughs> oh. Where are her glasses, guys? It's quite nostalgic for me, actually. I used to watch this all the time. <sighs> Brilliant. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? you got some work to do. camera moved just as she was about to do the heel turn and um, judging it by her foot placement the heel turn was not going to be correct clever camera movement there. You now. Come on, I see you. nice Pretend heel lead there for her be the song choice but I'm bored. Um I don't really have too much to say about it. Yeah, there's nothing, to be honest, there's nothing that inspiring about this dance routine. It doesn't, I don't watch it and be like, yeah, I really want to go and dance a foxtrot now. Um, the song choice, I mean, I know it's hard when it's, when it's, it's Halloween, you know. But, yeah, you know, I feel like there's probably other things they could have picked. I didn't see that the footwork was too great either. Yeah, I'm uninspired. Uninspired. And it was like, oh, one of them makes a joke. And then the Scooby Doo chorus comes in, and they do a bit of Foxtrot, and then they make another joke, and then it's another. It's just. Yeah, the choreography was just not it. It was not it. The more I watch it, the more I like it. It just grows on me. Great dancing and storytelling. So I didn't think. I didn't think it was good storytelling. She's such a great actor. I really hope these two get fiery and romantic period piece very soon. Something serious, dark, and passionate. Yes. Strictly often tends to give the younger pros and contestants the more frothy, twee and comic dance themes. Uh, but these could, could benefit from something really dramatic and beautiful. I agree. John and Johannes really blossomed once they did the gutsy part of the Caribbean one. Something more along those lines of maturing for this couple. There's much more pulled up than Panto. Yeah, it's a bit Panto, isn't it? And more than a little bit of Winslet DiCaprio. Give them a bit of oomph. They're not kids and they can storytell really well. I absolutely love her, you're doing amazing. Some of the best footwork we've seen so far in the competition, especially going backwards. Going backwards. Uh, yeah, there were a few heel releases there. Uh, lovely frame also. Yeah, it was, she did have a good frame, that's true. Uh, the outer bit holds you more dancey. You need to be more dancey though. Yeah, I don't like it. I know Jake gave them an eight, but. So she ended up getting a six, an eight, a seven, and an eight. That's quite high scores for the bottom, right? Like the eights. Excuse me, falling off my face. Right, we're now moving on to the second best. Um, scoring seven, nine, nine, and ten. I mean, seven and ten are really different numbers, right? So let's have a look at Tyler West. So we have the chilling hey, chat cha today. They like come and be one go home. What a good song. Oh my god, I love it. The characterization is brilliant. The cha cha hips were a bit. Stiff is the wrong word because they were really moving, right? But they're almost a bit. 
staticky, but maybe that's the idea because I'm not sure where he's playing Beetlejuice, is that right? Um, let's see. <laughs> Weird, awkward arm there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, not some frosting. Where's the cha cha? Give me some cha cha. Please. No, no, but seriously, where's the cha cha? Why are they doing this so much this year? Has he even done a single cha cha step? Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And that was a bad! That was not so good. Ooh, very off balance. The arms weren't right either. I'm not sure how on earth they got a 10. I don't. No, that was that's not good. It's not good. Overmarked. Overmarked. I give it a. If they did more cha cha cha, okay. Let's forget everything. Forget the choreography, right? Just focus on the cha 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 bits. It wasn't very good. It was well executed in terms of the character, in terms of uh, attack, but it was off balance. It was. Um, a bit clunky, the arms weren't quite right. So if I'm judging it as a whole performance, I'd probably give it an eight. If I'm judging it on just the chatter content, it'll be a seven. Yeah, so over more do they get? Seven, nine, nine, ten. Yeah, no, overmarked. Let's see. This dance was incredible. I swear there isn't a dance tile I can't do. Diana was stunning as usual and her choreography was amazing. Cannot wait to see more dances. Year after year, dance after dance, Diana is proving her place in Strictly and skill as a choreographer. That's great, but what about Tyler? There's a lot of comments about Diane here, right? I always feel like that tells you a little bit about how the dance went. This is my favourite dance of the night. Love how he just goes for it. The little neck wiggle moved at the beginning, won me over. Yeah, he could have just sat down for the rest of the dance and I'd still voted for it. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was, I mean, that, that bit was good. I think this is one of Diane's best dances, dancers in her six season Strictly. I absolutely love this dance. Well, Diane is finally going past week six. I'm happy for her. See, again, there's loads of comments about Diane and I feel like that tells you something about what people think about Tyler and that maybe they weren't looking at him maybe they weren't enamored by him I don't know what do you think what do you think am I being harsh I just don't think it was that, like cha -cha, the actual cha, cha content was that good right we are moving on to James By I saw him for the first time in the last week strictly as in week five yeah and he was in so he was the bottom this week um I'm not sure who went home actually because I still see that Tony Adams is still here. Um, so I'm not sure uh, who went home, but they're doing a Charleston. Uh, so we shall see. I managed to wear this the whole video. It'll be an achievement. Right, so we've got Amy coming down from the sky as a bumblebee. Sure. It's an interesting pose. <laughs> Okay, swivel feet, nice. He's really thinking about the choreography, isn't he? Oh. Woo. That was almost a disaster, but actually went quite well. again. Right, how are we doing? He's going for it, you know, like he's like, not, he's not just jumping, he's like pounding the floor, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I'm not sure this is worse than the fox fry I saw. Oh! Man, these contestants are brave, huh? Or the professionals, rather. I'm not. 
like, it's not bad, you know. I actually quite like this. He's going with the faces. I haven't seen him like lagging in tiredness. All the lifts, although the lifts have been a little bit clunky, they have been executed. I was like, oh god, it's gonna go wrong, and it doesn't, it's actually fine. Um, what do they get? I keep saying this, what do they get? Um, 6777. Yeah, no, I thought that was better than the Foxtrot. At least I like watched that, and I'm like, yeah, I could go down some Charleston now. Yeah, no, that was underscored, wasn't it? Okay, let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes, my favourite spooky story. The tale of the human-sized bee and the sleep-deprived beekeeper. I love telling that story at Halloween. It really gets my nerves going. Right, James Johnson. <laughs> oh, right. Joseph Lewis says, when I heard he'd been eliminated, I was absolutely gutted. Ah, so he went home. I really thought it improved and made a very good effort with the dance. I would have liked to see him remain in the competition a bit longer. As I, and I thought he had more to give. Yeah, I think so. I don't think that was like a dance to go off on. Sucks that he's gone, but at least the dance introduced me to a new song that I can't get out of my head. Well, I think James is absolutely amazing. I'm not saying that. I really mean it. Well done, James. Good luck for getting into it. Next week, had tons of my work votes and always have. Seven. Strictly Fan 55 says, not too bad. James is definitely embracing it as best as he can, but he has throughout the series. So the problem does die, uh, does lie in his lack of security in the dances. This has some personality and definitely quite a bit of energy, yes. However, he seemed to anticipate the next lift or section. Yeah, I said that, didn't I? Right at the start, I was like, he's thinking about the choreography. You can see it in his face. The swivel and arm actions are also not as emphasised as they should be in the dance. Liked it, but it wasn't just okay. It was just okay. Still think it was better than the Foxtrot, though. So, next up, we're going for the best, the winner of the leaderboard, Ellie Taylor. And it's interesting because I saw her for the first time in my last video where she did the tango, and I enjoyed that quite a bit. Quite a bit. So, let's see. Uh, couple's choice. Okay, I struggle judging the couple's choice, but okay, fine. Do I put a spell on you? Nice. Normally, I would dance uh, Venus Waltz to that song. The cackling couple's choice. Nice. Really good acting here again. They're really going for it. Nice. I love That was such a nice, like, very light lift with the arm up for both of them, and it was so well matched. Like, if I was just watching them and I didn't know that one of them was a professional, one of them was a celebrity, I wouldn't be able to see or tell you that one of them had considerably less experience than the other. Like, at least doing a really good job here. And like, the character on the face, the character in the body, and the movement, and the choreography, yeah, it's good. It's good. Wow, nice. Beautiful arm there as well. Really lovely. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was, yes, I understand why that was first. Um, I did understand why Tyler was second. I do understand why that was first. So, yes, 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 yes. What scores did they get? Eight, nine, 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 nine. Yeah, that was good. All right, let's look at some of the comments. 
Massive shout out to the singer here, what an amazing performance. Best of the night, really sells the act. I agree, the house band and singer did an excellent job here, and so did Ellie and Johannes. Love this bit of theatre, Johannes is amazing, and Ellie held her own. She really, really did, actually. And uh, last week was the first week that I've heard of her, or seen her dancing. Um, and I'm surprised, I don't know how she was the previous weeks, but I'm surprised that I'm only now, like, she's getting a bit of attention. Um, and he's really coming to her own with every week that passes. This was such a great performance, Johannes is the king of choreography as well. I agree. Right, now we're going to go with two, surpri two surprise performances. Number one, we're going to look at Fleur East and Vito Campo. They're doing a salsa to Break My Soul by Beyonce. So I'm ready to see this salsa. Um, I loved that we got two different personalities from, from Fleur. With the first week, which was, uh, or the first one that I watched, which was very, um, I think it was a cha-cha, wasn't it? So perfect cha-cha character. And then she did the Argentine tango and it was perfect. Perfect. So now she's got salsa, so we're going back to that party vibe, and I'm ready. I'm ready, and I'm here for it. So I don't think she did that well, did she? No, she came seventh, but she did get four eights. I feel like the scores this week were particularly high. There's a spooky salsa. Oh, hello. I don't think I've heard this song before, you know. Okay, still a lot of faffing. It would be nice to see some salsa. It's very wide. I don't think I've ever seen a salsa danced that wide. Like, the arms are up here. And really, she needs to relax those shoulders and bring the arms slightly lower. Nice hip movement. Oh, oh damn. Nice, clean. Oh, it's not good. It's wide, like the, the steps are so big, the arms are so wide, like, I don't know how else to explain this. Someone please help me explain this in the comments, like, it's... This posture is not good either, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, she's good. Boom. And she's throwing her body, there's no control there, so when she did that spin, it's like her entire body's gone with it, and you can't have that, like, it, not only does it look more messy, but it pulls you off balance, it pulls your partner off balance. Oh, that was not smooth. <laughs> yeah. The solo non salsa work is pretty fun. They've kind of done this very similar salsa move over and over again. There's a bit more there. Aye. wasn't good. I hated it. I didn't like it. I'm sorry, Fleur. That was not... not it. That, that was... Mm, uh, I think James's Charleston is better than that. I would give that like a six. So, comments. Her core strength is amazing, just seemed a little chaotic. It did, but that's hardly her fault. It is, it is her fault. <laughs> she needed to control the... She needed to, her goal strength was amazing during the lift, but she wasn't controlling her muscles when she was doing the moves. Uh, she gave everything. She did give everything, that's true. I love her. I love this cover of Break My Soul. I think she did amazingly, definitely better than others. Don't know why she was in the dance off. I can't I get it. I do get it. Strictly Fan 55 says 8. Another, well, people are seeing stuff that I'm not seeing. Another enthralling performance by these two. I think Fleur has a real joyful and authentic quality about her dancing, yes. And so Motsi's comment was an important one. I don't know what Motsi's comment was. So, so what if she's a little vigorous in her energy? It seems to come most naturally to her and over the years people are a little bit too critical of those who tend to be more hard hitting. No, listen, 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 listen. Dance, dancers have their personalities and songs enable those personalities or they can change the feeling and the theme of those personalities. So for example, you could have a softer tango because the song's softer or because the choreography's softer, fine. 
when you have a hard hitting song and you have a hard hitting dance like salsa it makes sense to also be hard hitting she was more than hard hitting the problem was there was no control i could you know hit a beat like this yeah boom 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 this is hard hitting yeah i'm putting a lot of force into it i'm stopping i'm going with the beat or i could do it like this which is, yes, it's hard-hitting, but there's no control. I don't have a problem with her being hard-hitting. Um, I don't have a problem with her using the music. I don't have a problem with her going for it. I have a problem with her not having the control in her movements and her motion and her balance. Sorry, I just went off on one there, right? <laughs> that said, I should have read the whole comment first, right? That said, this does, of course, affect the quality of the dance sometimes. It could be a bit lighter and fluid in the upper body and transitional sections, as well as more nuance, but perhaps in the routine, so it's a little less disorientated. But for the style that they were going for, this is brilliant. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, right. And then we're going to do one more. Kim, Marsh and Graziano's rumba to Frozen. Now, one of the reasons why I picked this one was because it was like one of Sri Lanka Dance's like highest viewed per hour when I was looking at the stats. So let's have a look. And they came the technically they came second because obviously you had to turn top. So technically they were second on the leaderboard. Okay. She's got quite a bit of attack, doesn't she? So again, another one of the first time I'm seeing dancing. She's got a lot of attack here. Oh, those are some nice straight legs there, right? Almost off balance, but not quite. This is pretty, this is pretty. Oh, yes! Oh, posture, shoulders, her shoulders went like this. She really needs to bring her head out of her body. This is a nice pose that they're in there. Pretty. Oh, nice! Really lovely line. Posture still needs work, but it's good. Some good quality rumba in here as well, which I appreciate. This is good. That was good. That was good. Yes. Um, what did she get? Eight eight nine nine. Yeah, that's that's a fair score. It's the first time I said that this evening. That's a fair score. That was really good. I enjoyed it. It was good. There was posture issues. Yeah, and occasionally the footwork wasn't quite right. But there was good attempt at straight legs. There was great storytelling. There was a hip action. Although I do wish she was wearing something that I could see a bit more of the hip action. So maybe that's been hidden. I don't know. But yeah, that was really nice. Let's look at the comments. I do think again, again, it was better than Tyler's cha-cha-cha. Right, so, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Tyler should be third. So, Ellie first, these guys second, Tyler third. Okay, Bessie Bennett says, now, wow, now that is how you do a rumba. Beautiful, Kim's improvement, holy squid. Um, she's definitely the most improved celeb. Can you imagine Kim in earlier weeks doing this? Well done. And that's good, you know what, that's really nice to see that people are improving. Uh, they're taking their practice seriously. It's coming into the body. The work is starting to show. Like, that's so nice to see that kind of improvement. She deserves all praise after this. It looks absolutely stunning and beautifully danced. This is literally amazing. Kim was really good at the rumba. Plus she looked stunning whilst doing so. There you go. There you go. Right, we're going to call that one an end. There's another video up here as well if you want to catch up on some of the other weeks for Strictly. And I'll see you over there.